studioscratches.com. Hey people, so today I'm going to teach you how to do the Joe Cooley scratch. Um, so this is a combination of two different techniques, which sounds a little bit like this. So let's break that down into its separate movements. I'm just going to turn the beat off for a second. It's basically you push the record forwards, and then when you pull the record back, you break the movement into two parts. Do that again. It's kind of like a tear or a scribble. So that's the first part. So if you practice that bit over and over again, you'll find that you can do it quicker and quicker. So once you've got that bit down, the next bit is to do a chirp scratch, which you probably already practiced by now if you've been following the earlier tutorials. So just to recap, you start with the fader open, push the record forwards and close the fader, then pull the record back opening the fader. So to put it all together, Push the record forward, pull it back twice, and then do two chirps. Sorry, three chirps. It's kind of hard to do slow. Um, but if you practice it slow, you'll find that when, once you speed up, you'll have the record movement and the fader movement right. So let's try that over a beat. Try it with a different sample. I'm going to try fresh. It's really cool to try the Joel Cooley scratch with a vocal sample like Ah oh, Yeah. Oh. Um, it's quite a good 
good linking scratch, so I wouldn't necessarily repeat the Joe Cooley scratch over and over again, um, but it's quite a good introduction when you're starting off a set of scratching or kind of as a linking movement between the two. Quite often alternate between chirps and a Joe Cooley scratch, but have some fun. things I like to do is do a couple of Jolie, Joe Cooley scratches and then uh, just let the sample play out. Also try it with any vocal really, it sounds pretty cool. Just to recap, first movement, kind of the second batch of movements. So I think of it as counting to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, you could think of it as in batches of two. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I hope that helps you. Have some fun with it. Post your videos and I'll see you next time.